I think over the course of a semester and a half, you know, my, my playing really started to deteriorate because I was suffering this injury, but I didn't even know that's what it was. I thought I was just like not cutting it, you know? Because <laughs> uh, I think when you're in a high pressure environment, like sometimes school can be, um, especially in like a conservatory, um, you know, you think, oh, I'm just not like cutting it or I'm just not good enough. But then, you know, I, I remember I, I had a week off from school and like I took basically the entire week off and then I came back and it's like, oh, like I can play again. And then I, it kind of clicks like, oh, okay, this has been the cause of the issues that I'm having. Um, so, you know, at, after the end of that school year, I decided to take like a few months off to kind of recover. And this is around the time I, you know, I got offered this position to go to FSU to finish my doctorate and with my my teacher Chris Moore you know I was like you know I'm kind of going through this thing I'm trying to rebuild this thing and he, you know he was very patient he allowed me to have that time to kind of build myself up but that year that I had as I was going through that was probably the first time that I had some like serious self doubts like can I actually do this can I accomplish this have I been wasting my time mm -hmm. Um, am I not at the level I need to be to get to where I know I need to be? Um, but because I think what a lot of musicians is that we see our value in ourselves through our musical abilities, right? So if we're not playing well, all of a sudden that's an indictment of who we are as a person, right? I think we're all guilty of that to some extent. And I was very much going through that, certainly, and I think it's probably worse when you're a student and there's a certain expectation. Um, so I was definitely going through that and it was certainly kind of a, a dark year um, for me.